Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Welcome to this episode of Inside PTI. Hey, today I'm going to talk about one of the newer trials we have at the PTI farm, and it involves organic corn. And today we're specifically going to talk about how do we do weed control in an in organic corn environment. Now, some folks would say, well, Jason, why are you wanting to test organic corn at the PTI farm? And the reason is this. Well, there's just kind of two reasons. One, it has been the largest request from farmers as we ask growers, you know, what do you want us to test here at the PTI farm? Um, oh, if we count up the number of requests, this is actually towards the top. And why is this? Well, reason number two in my mind is it appears that there's consumers, people that go to the supermarket, if you will, that claim they want to buy organic food. Now, whether it's labeled correctly and things like that, that's a, that's another issue. But it appears that that some of these consumers that say they want organic food are willing maybe to pay a little bit more money for that food. And that's what has me interested in growing organic corn at the PTI farm. Because get this, as a farmer, you know, I'm wondering if this might be an opportunity to grow, supply, and take advantage of some of these potential higher prices that some consumers are wanting to pay. If they want organic and they're willing to pay more for it, can I grow that food and make more money as a farmer? That's why I want to grow organic food. But here's the hard part. How do you grow organic corn? We're going to concentrate on, on corn today. You know, you look at fertility, you know, what's approved for organic corn in regard to nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, you know, kind of the, the big three, if you will, in regard to fertility on corn. What about disease control? It's not like I can go buy any commercial fungicide and put on my corn. I can't do that. And then the topic at hand today is weed control. Since I can't use commercial herbicides, how in the heck am I going to control weeds in a organic corn situation? So as I thought about this, this weed situation, I said, you know, in the past, a lot of folks would bring in like rotary hose to throw weeds out, you know, or, you know, early season uh, weeds out of the ground. And I thought, I don't know if that's been real successful. And I don't know if I have a good enough rotary hoe uh, for that that activity in the field. And so we teamed up with Treffler. Now Treffler has a weed tiner that eliminates weeds early in the season. And this is what I'm told works really well in organic production. So we reached out to Treffler. We brought a Treffler unit in and we put it to work here this spring. Let's go to the field and let's take a look at this Treffler weed Tiner. All right, we're in the field. This is our Treffler Tine Weeder. This is a 3.30 foot weed tiner. And you can see these, these tines are spring loaded. And I can adjust the tension on these springs hydraulically from the tractor. But we set these, the aggressiveness of these tines, and these tines have a kind of a flat spot on the front side of it that'll help do some tillage, taking small weeds out of the ground and then moving a little bit of dirt and covering some of the weeds up that it doesn't actually pull up out of the ground. So that's really important in between um, the corn and soybean plants. So we ran this thing four times in corn they were roughly about about a week apart and i think the trick with this is you got to be early you have to be fast and furious in the field to remove small weeds this isn't going to remove large weeds it's not but you know it, it's full coverage in the field meaning that you're going to get every square inch basically weed tined and so it does a pretty good job of removing plants not only in the middle of the row but in between as well you can lift and lock these tines up if the crop gets a little taller and you don't want these running right on the row. You can lock them up, and, and that's that's a pretty big advantage as well. So I like the way this thing worked. Um, again, I think you got to be fast and furious in the spring and run this early season as much as possible. Um, again, you're, you're, you're going to want to use this to remove small weeds. You know, for our first shot at organic corn in, in regards to weed control, 
thought we did a really nice job. I thought the Treffer unit helped out a ton. It was a major part of our weed control program. I had to run it numerous times uh, to get rid of weeds. I had to do it early and I had to be fast and furious. Um, some weeds I didn't pull out of the ground, but I, I moved enough dirt, especially after the second, third, and fourth pass. I had enough loose dirt where I'd cover some of the small weeds up if I couldn't pull them up out of the ground. If you look down through the rows here of my corn, you'll notice I've got some pretty good weed control. I don't, I don't have a lot of weeds out here in the corn. So overall, I thought it worked very well. This Treffler unit, I think, needs to be a part of an organic program, something like this. Now, I will say this. Once I got done with the four passes with this Treffler Tiner, I did have to come in and row crop cultivate to get some of the larger weeds, especially in the middle of the row. But I row crop cultivated one time and that cleaned things up really nice, okay? So if you've got any questions about anything we've talked about in regard to organic corn or weed control, send me an email at in, insidepti at precisionplanting.com. I'd love to talk with folks that, that are implementing organic corn as a part of their farm operation. I'd be curious in seeing what kind of markets you have, what kind of premiums you're seeing. And if you really think that organic corn is something that consumers are wanting at the supermarket and are willing to spend more for it. If that is in fact true as a farmer, I'd like to take advantage of it and be a part of it and make more dollars on a per acre basis. So that's why we're testing this at the PTI farm. That's why we're bringing in folk, the nice folks at Treffler. And we're just going through the motions here of, of saying, what does it take to grow organic corn? Can we do it successfully? Can we make more money on a per acre basis rather than growing regular commercial corn? That's all the time we have for today. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI. Thanks so much for watching.